everybody thank you so much for pressing play on my video my name is Charlene Luciano from stampwithsha.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the US I have a super cute project to share with you guys today and this is a double treat pouch so you can stick candy on one side and you can stick a little note on the inside super fun super cute and again you can embellish it however you want the designer series paper I used on this is the Twinkle Twinkle designer series paper. On this one here, I used two pieces of 6x6 designer series paper to create the treat pouch. But on this one here, I used cardstock and then for the pouch itself, I used the designer series paper. So again, it's up to you how you want to do it. These little um, treat container pouch things are great for craft fairs if you have people over you can switch up the designer series paper you can do one for Christmas Thanksgiving Halloween birthdays you name it and you can do it all so for today I'm going to show you how to create these cute little treat pouches I will have a, a written detailed description with measurements as well over on my website. So if you missed anything, everything will be there. I will also have a link down in the description below that if you click on it, it will take you right to the blog post itself. The designer series paper, I have two pieces that are cut identical and these pieces are cut at two inches by six inches and both pieces need to be scored at half an inch. Now I already went ahead and I scored my pieces. I have some Blushing Bride and these pieces measure 4 by 6 and we need to do some scoring. So with the 6 inch along the top of the scoring, uh, the trimmer, we are going to score this at half inch. We're going to score this at one and a half inch and we're going to score this at 5 inch. And you are going to repeat that on your other piece of cardstock. Now these both measure 4 by 6 and they're both scored the exact same way at half inch, one and a half inch and five inch. On this little half inch piece we need to add our tearing tape. So I just got my, let me move my trimmer out the way. saw somebody else do that and it didn't quite work for me <laughs> oh, I'll have to try that again all right so we are going to remove our backing and we are going to butt that fat edge up to that half inch Making sure we're straight. Okay. I'm gonna fold this one back. And then We are going to close it. So what we've done is we've created like a, what do you call this? Yeah, that's what we've created, one of those things. Um, a sleeve, that's the word I was looking for. Sorry you guys, it's Monday. Mondays are a little tough. And I'm just reinforcing those score lines. And that, my friends, is the start of your treat pouch. What we're going to do now is we're going to decide which way we want our designer series paper. And I'm thinking I want, I want this to show. So I've folded this over. And I am now going to add some adhesive on this little strip. Not all the way, 
just in the middle. Good thing we're not going to see that, so it doesn't matter that I've taken some of the paper off. Now I am going to remove the backing and I'm going to attach this to the bottom like so. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this back, fold that back like so. And then I'm actually going to stick a little bit of tear and tape along the side here because I don't want these flaps to come loose. So I'm just going to add a little bit of tear and tape. And I'm going to attach that in the back, like so. Okay, so you can see where we're going with this. What I did was for this one, I added a half strip of designer series paper where that line is just to hide it. You could also add ribbon if you want. You don't even have to, you know, that's like your little handles. You don't have to add anything, but again, it's however you want to embellish your little treat pouch add the other one and this is where you will decide whether you want just one side to have a pouch or if you want both sides to have a pouch super cute you guys I hope you guys are going to give this project a try it really once you do one they come together so quickly you'll be like doing these in no time and again you can use two six by six pieces of designer series paper to make this but on this one I decided to go with cardstock because it's a little bit more sturdier as opposed to the designer series paper and then again you can embellish it however you want but just a fun little treat pouch that you can stand on your table i hope you enjoyed today's project thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed my video please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel that way you won't miss my next video if you're in the us and you're interested in any of the products that i used in today's video i will have them linked down in the description below as well as a written detailed description with measurements over on my website at www.stampwithshaw.com i do post projects every weekday to inspire you so i hope you'll head on over there and I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend and a great Columbus Day. Thank you so much for stopping by today, you guys. We'll see you again on Wednesday. Take care.